Hi, I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Today I'm going to show you how to steam for an eggnog latte. We're going to be doing this on the Gaja Classic and we're going to be using two things that make it really easy to create the perfect texture for your eggnog latte. So those two things are the Espro Torrid Pitcher and the Gaja Latte Art Panarello Wand. The Espro Torrid Pitcher has a patented curved design and it has a dimple at the bottom of the pitcher to help create that roll that you're always looking for when steaming milk. The Gaja Latte Art Panarello Wand works two ways, as an auto frothing wand or when you remove that outer sleeve you have a manual wand which gives you very fine control over texturing your milk. So to make our latte, the first thing we'll do is steam our eggnog, but we're going to cut that with some milk because the eggnog is so thick it really doesn't steam very well on its own. So I'm using the 12 ounce Espro Torrid Pitcher. This is available in a 20 ounce size as well. And we're going to do a 50-50 mix of the eggnog and milk. And you want to fill it just below where the spout starts on the pitcher. Okay, that looks good. Now this is the perfect amount for our 12 ounce latte cup we'll be using. So you always want to start with a warm cup. So mine's already heating on the warming surface of the Gaja Classic. And I'm going to remove this outer sleeve so we can manually froth our milk eggnog mixture. And my machine's already up to steam temperature, so we're ready to go. And with all machines, you're always going to want to purge your wand before steaming. Okay. So I'm going to start by making sure that my steam tip is below the surface of the milk. So once my steam is on, I'm going to very quickly lower my pitcher so that the tip is very near the surface of the milk. It's really just a fraction of an inch below the milk surface. If you see big bubbles start to form, you need the wand a little lower in the milk. You want to hear just a little rip every now and then. As the milk expands, I'll lower the pitcher to keep the tip in the same position relative to the surface of the milk. The toward pitcher makes it really easy to get a roll going. Once I've got the texture I want, I'll lower the wand and work on keeping the roll going. At this point, we're just heating the milk and that roll is mixing the microfoam. I'll continue heating until the bottom of the pitcher just starts to get slightly uncomfortable to hold. You want it nice and warm, but go too hot and milk loses its sweetness. So on a single boiler machine, like the Classic, you always want to make sure to cool down your boiler before you brew your shot. So to do that, we're going to turn off the steam, open up the steam valve, and press the brew button until we have just water and no more steam coming out of our wand. All right, so my boiler is cooled down and I've already loaded and tamped my porta filter and I'm gonna be brewing a double shot of Lavazza Super Crema. On the Classic, all I need to do is just press the brew button. So I'm brewing right into my warmed latte cup so that when I pour my milk, I can maintain the espresso's beautiful crema right on the surface. So our shot's all set, so let's go ahead and pour our latte. So when I pour, I'm gonna pour right into the center in the same spot. I'm trying not to break that crema. That way it'll float on the surface and look beautiful. Now I'm no latte artist, but if you are, you can do some really nice latte art here. So you can see how I ended up with just a little bit of froth on the surface. And because this is eggnog, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little dash of nutmeg and give it a taste. Mm. That milk turned out nice and sweet. It pairs perfectly with the Lavazza Super Crema, and our drink has a nice light texture. Again, this is how you steam for an eggnog latte. And you know, if you haven't given manual steaming a try, it's really not that difficult. It may just take a little practice. I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. See you next time. And go to wholelattelove.com now where you can purchase the products used in this video. The number one source for everything coffee, wholelattelove.com.